Hi Sagittarius, welcome and you're watching The Sacred Sun Tarot and this is going to be your reading for the upcoming week. Sagittarius, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter and Sun. Let's see what messages we have for you. Okay. Okay. Reverse the roles if needed, switch the cases. This may not be your reading entirely, right? Also, uh, if you feel like connecting with me, you can... Find my link in the description box here, right? We have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Sag, very busy in work, right? Two of Swords. For some of you, this can be intentionally avoiding everything and getting busy in work because you don't want to face something. You don't want to address something. Or it's totally hard to address something. Energy of blocking your heart and focusing over creating something, right? For some of you, this can be a decision in work life, but for most of you I'm picking up, it's just a kind of energy where you're blocking your heart and focusing too much on work because some emotional decision. Yeah, sun energy here. Nine of cups. Okay, something is very happy and fulfilling. But uh, what next? You know, current energies, maybe you you're with somebody or you're in some connection. The present energies till now are very positive, but then what next? All right, let's clarify and see what's happening here. Sagittarius, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and Sun. Okay, Seven of Cups in the Page of Pentacles. Okay, Sag, I see that some grounded opportunity, some grounded conversation can be related to some future prospect or some opportunity came your way or is coming your way right i see this is a recent past so maybe some conversation about commitment new idea related to work something fresh something naive just started right and i see you're very confused about it maybe because you want to explore more options for rest of you you are not in a state to make a decision right now right you're mesmerized you're overwhelmed you have a lot of stuff to do can be related to work life that you have a lot of stuff to accomplish maybe that's why you're not making a decision right all over the place kind of energy but the conversation did come or it is coming now right what else okay we have the nine of pentacles and the fool and now i see sag there's a switch in your energies where you feel like initiating something right this is an elevation from eight of pentacles to nine of pentacles definitely feel like switching something and working over something right this new step this new leap of faith is going to bring in a lot of satisfaction and independence in your energy i see that you're planning to initiate something here for some of you, you might feel that this is risky but it is going to bring in a lot of independence if it goes well for rest of you this can be a very reckless and a carefree decision of becoming independent from something right seven of swords you have plans sagittarius i see strategy here you might be feeling like gaining independent independence from something nine of wands but someone is very resistive this can be this the other person you're dealing with or in general your environment i see a lot of defensiveness here somebody is totally not liking something they're holding on to a stubborn point maybe they had a plan or an idea about working over something and they're holding on to it now and when they see your casual carefree attitude i think this is bothering them a lot a lot right what else page of wands and we have the ten of swords everything is fine this person is totally heartbroken over you sagittarius uh, I'm getting a kind of feeling that no matter how much effort I put in, it's never going to be enough. So I should be letting it go and let things happen naturally. Somewhere at heart, this person is losing hope and uh, they feel that all I can do is just wait. Right? They're getting tired. They're getting emotionally drained here. They're feeling emotionally drained on picking up. You know, it's like after getting the nine texts neglected they still feel that the tenth one will be answered i don't know for whom this person uh, is feeling this way i think this is more like what they're honestly feeling from within and what they're showing you is just nine of wands energy they might be showing you that i'm still standing and holding on to something but somewhere at heart they're giving up on something they're heartbroken and they're giving up on something here 
we have the king of swords energy Gemini Libra Aquarius energy here page of wands at your heart I see that you have a lot of passion you have new ideas and more or less there's a feeling that I want to explore a lot of things for some of you of course you can reverse the rules if needed but for some of you I see Sagittarius that you have some fresh idea on your mind right you want to explore something for some of you this can be travel also so in this situation you might not feel like settling down for something can clarify a few cards and see what's happening here okay what is this confusion why are you so confused about the situation we have the page of cups the two of wands and the five of pentacles okay in the recent past i see that a decision was made sagittarius which probably made you feel very cold right this can be that in the recent past you were dealing with somebody it can be somebody other than this person you wanted to opt that person you wanted to take a decision for them and maybe you tried communicating it but it didn't go well right i see some heartbreak over some uh, decision some heartbreak about a decision that did not go well and there was a feeling of being left out in cold abandonment right and uh, page of pentacles of course we have the empress energy here this can be a taurus or a libra energy that you dealt with what is this page of pentacles eight of cups page of swords and the six of pentacles the person right now you're dealing with or somebody in your surroundings is really interested in you this person feels emotional distance they try to look for more information about you to try to see what's going on in your life right now but i think the the overall information and overall thing that they get is just very naive they try to find more information but i think you're not very honest about what exactly you're feeling you're somehow feeling some abandonment here and i see that this person feels that either they're doing too much work and they're not getting the response or the investment the level of investment of both of you in the situation right now is different king of swords again what is this fool energy? What are you planning to do here? We have the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Some defensiveness about a commitment I pick up here, Sagittarius. A lot of defensiveness about commitment. Knight of Wands, I think you want to either play the field yet. You want to play the field and you're not thinking of settling down for some of you or for the rest of you this can be that you have a lot of passion excitement about the situation but when it comes to have a broader perspective of commitment settling down getting married or having this home-like situation i think you're quite defensive about it yet and i can see defensiveness in both of your energies right now nine of wands and nine of wands okay Is this a power struggle if is this a power struggle or an opinion struggle between you both you're holding on to one opinion they're holding on to other i don't see that you're looking eye to eye right now you're not looking eye to eye right now sagittarius it's more important to have an open conversation in this situation if you really are interested in Mending this connection, I see some important conversation is missing. You both are holding back from openly talking about it. And Eight of Pentacles, you're just avoiding it and focusing on your work. For some of you, this can be simply avoiding the elephant in the room. What is this Nine of Wands energy? We have the Hierophant, the World, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. Uh, I think some honest conversation might come your way. The Hierophant is the Taurus energy, world energy here, and the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Somewhere at heart, this person feels that I'm getting tired now. I'm done putting in effort, but at the same time, they want to give it another try. Maybe on the face of it, when they're talking to you or when they're coming back to you, I see they're bringing some very stable conversation here. They're quite serious about the situation, Sagittarius, I'm picking up the Hierophant energy. They're definitely looking for something long-term and more grounded. They want to make it happen. The world energy is a kind of energy where um, they want the progress at your pace, right? If you are the 
you're not looking for this pace they want to come down narrow down to your pace and the world energy is more like okay i'm, I'm ready to end the cycle knight of swords you're getting angry about it there's something which is very annoying in the situation for you what is this knight of swords yep high priestess i think you don't want to be so impatient you're quiet at heart i see some annoyed energies some agitated angry energies it's like you want to burst out into words and tell this person exactly what's bothering you but at the same time you're just keeping quiet because you don't want to spoil it i see a lot of passion here for some of you this simply can mean that because the situation is so passionate and so romantic or simply very fiery you don't want to spoil it by saying some harsh words but then you're keeping your anger within you what is this high priestess okay five of wands yes you are avoiding the conflict high priestess being quiet and five of wands uh just standing face to face holding your opinions and not saying anything being really quiet what are they doing here and everything is fine ten of swords energy why are they so hurt we have the Queen of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. This person has a huge passion for you, Sag. And somewhere at heart, this person is also feeling uh, overwhelmed, right? I'm picking up for some of you that they have new opportunities, but at the same time, when it comes to you, they just want to focus on you. They have too much emotion here. And Two of Cups energy. There's love. There's genuinely love in the situation undeniable love i'm picking up for some of you okay let's see where is the situation heading for this time period sagittarius moon rising venus jupiter and sun we have the six of swords the ace of cups and the seven of swords four of wands energy there's definitely a very beautiful potential connection here sag and the fire between you both, the attraction between you both is very strong. For some of you, this can be a new love proposal coming your way. If this person was till now not making a conversation about this love situation, you both were holding on to some new, some, uh, I should say, thoughts. You were holding on to it. You were not talking about it. I think you both are going to talk about it very soon six of swords moving away from the turbulent water ace of cups it's like honest heart to heart conversation card for me new beginning new romantic beginning in the situation or in general in your life right but some strategy is there some secrets are there sagittarius that have to be talked about i see that some secrets are not being revealed here which is possibly sabotaging a very beautiful connection very beautiful potential romantic connection right it's time you both talk about it you're holding some emotions within you and you're not expressing them right now with the high priestess energy and because of that they have intense love for you but they're not expressing it right so i think some heart to heart honest conversation is needed here let's have some messages for it Sagittarius, this is a beautiful potential connection, Sag. Four of Wands uh, with the Ace of Cups. There's a potential of new beginning in this situation if you guys talk it out openly, right? Messages for Sag. I see a lot of excitement in your energy, but when it comes to commitment, I see some thoughts. I see some thoughts. Okay. We have relationships in doubt. Are you doubting this relationship, Saj? Are there some doubts about it? I release the need to know all the answers. So some things are unforeseen and sometimes we just unnecessarily worry about what has not happened till now, right? So it's time you stop thinking about the future. Stop feeling the need of knowing everything beforehand. Sometimes we just have to dive in and see where this flow of river takes us you know sometimes we have to just journey it so release all the doubts sagittarius and relationships i'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good so there's some divine purpose in the connection four of wands energy beautiful potential and a connection that has a lot to teach to you right so a lot of learnings in the situation 
I think you're heading in the right direction. All you need to do is have some open conversation about it. Because right right now you both are facing each other but not looking eye to eye and holding on to your own points. So some open conversation is definitely needed here. Oh, we also have pride. So this can also be happening because of ego. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So what I feel from within, I see it in others. So very interesting message, Sanj. It's time to have an open conversation. And the strategy is definitely here about new lo love, but there are some secrets also. So try to release the doubts. I think it's more within you as compared to the other person. So try to release the doubts and, and work upon the conversation in this situation, right? So these are the messages for Sagittarius. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye-bye.